Hi guys, Chandler Mayo here today to show you some of the basics of Cronus Decay and how to get started. Um, so to get started, we need to go to coronalabs.com and then we need to download Cronus Decay. In order to download Cronus Decay, you need to create an account. Um, it's a fairly straightforward process. You just click on register. Um, you need to create a Cronus DK starter account or better. I have a Cronus DK Pro account. So just sign in. And then you can just download it. I've already got it downloaded, so to install it, you just need to mount the file and then drag that into your applications folder. Now, in order to edit our Coronas DK projects, you need a text editor. I recommend Sublime Text. Download that. You just need to go to sublimetext.com and then download it. And then you can install it the exact same way that we just did Coronas DK. So to get started, you just need to open Coronas DK up from your applications. agree to the licensing agreement and then you need to sign in. It'll connect to the license server and authorize your account. Alright, so now we have Chrome SDK. You'll notice on the startup window that you have several links that contain resources that will direct you to the Corona Labs website and help you with um, finding some sample apps, communicating with other developers, and looking at some other tutorials. Beneath that, you can create a new project. You can load up an existing project in the simulator. You can view your dashboard, and that's if you're a pro subscriber or higher. And you can play with some demo applications. For the purpose of this video, we're going to create a new project. And we're going to name the app Our app. We're going to turn it into a game, so we're going to use the game template. We're going to use the phone preset, and we're going to leave the orientation upright. Then we're just going to click Next, and select the folder that we want to put it in. Okay, so this is what our game looks like so far. There's not a whole lot to it. One thing that I want to change is I want to add the status bar back. So to do that, we need to edit the code a little bit. So you need to pull up a new window, sublib text to, then drag your apps folder into sublime text to, and then it'll show up in the sidebar. Now, if I remember correctly, the main.lua contains the status bar. So this particular line of code hides the status bar. So, to show it, we just need to comment out this line. To comment on a line, it's just two dashes, and the line becomes inactive. If you want to comment out a chunk of text, it's two lines and two brackets. And then you just need to enclose that, and then anything outside is code. So, to commit these changes so we can play with them in our app, just save the file, command S, and the simulator will reload. And now we have a status bar. The main.lua file is the first file that opens with your Corona SDK application. Every Corona SDK, every Corona SDK application is required to have a main.lua file. In this particular main.lua file, we load up storyboard and then go to the next scene called our menu. The menu is found in the menu.lua and a new scene is created here. You can see that a play button is created along with code to direct it to level 1 when pressed. We also create our background image, 
our title, as well as some more settings for our play button. And then all three of these are inserted into the storyboard group. So, if you wanted to change something, like the label on our play button, all you have to do is change where it says label equals, and then change that inside the quotations, and then save it. The simulator will reload, and your changes will take effect. I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope it helps you get started with Corona SDK.